At Avance, the early childhood nonprofit serves more than 6,000 Hispanic families across the state. We bring in those resources that they're the native language of the, those who which we serve. And CEO Dr. Teresa Granillo says a vast majority of those families are low income and rely on services like Medicaid to survive. Just drops off and then they have nothing. Um, that does not help support a new mother. That's why she says the Medicaid expansion for new mothers, approved in Texas Wednesday, is huge, now covering a full year after pregnancy. They're, they don't have, you know, a mom down the road or, you know, a brother or sister to help out. Like, they're, they're doing everything on their own. Executive director of the nonprofit Giving Austin Labor Support, or GALS, Morgan Miles, says a majority of her clients are low income as well. Majority of them are um, under 200 percent of the federal poverty level. She says this move has the power to change the conversation around postpartum care. That postpartum is not just two months postpartum. Um, that's not when you're just healed and ready to go back into the world. Dr. Grunio and Miles are new mothers themselves to three and a half month old Joaquin Andres and 19 month old Theodora Park. You know, you have to ma navigate new, uh, not just n the new world of having a baby, but a new you. The approval goes into effect March 1st. Coverage will be automatically reinstated for women who aren't currently receiving Medicaid or CHIP, but were enrolled while pregnant and still within 12 months postpartum. Reporting in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.